outrageous. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the tie was last month. The new one's out. Yes. Okay. So this is the April issue. The cover is uh, is actually a photo of Mike Randolph, who is the owner of The Good Pie, and then also Half and Half and Little Country Gentleman. And those Half and Half and Little Country Gentleman um, exist in the same space. Yeah, yeah. You told us about that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. he basically is, is figuring out how to balance these two concepts. It's a really interesting idea. And so we did a, a profile of him, and it's actually one of the one of the pieces we have on Feast TV. While you're on KTRS TV, talk about Feast TV. Okay. Um, so what we've decided to do is every month we're creating a half-hour show that brings that issue to life. Mm-hmm. And so we're, we're producing five segments and tying it all together. I kind of do this cooking demo from the issue and um, and at each stage in between um, the segments, we kind of get further along in the recipe that I'm doing. So the format will be the same every month, but the content obviously will be different. This month um, for the April issue, we um, introduce you to to Mike Randolph, mm-hmm. and we kind of take you inside what he's doing um, there in Clayton. We also uh, have a segment where we teach you how to uh, like make the perfect pizza crust because obviously— Ooh. You know, making pizza at home is a lot better than getting something from a box. Right. Um, you For know, some. Yeah. Right. yeah. We also um, take you to Sanctuaria and introduce you to one of our columnists, Matt Sider, who is an incredible mixologist. And he teaches you not only about the history of the 12 Miles Out cocktail and, uh, and prohibition, but then also teaches you how to batch age cocktails in glass mm. um and then we're also uh go we go, we go out to columbia missouri and uh step into a caldi's coffee dinner because one of our features is about cooking with coffee and we challenged all these st louis chefs to kind of come up with some really innovative dishes using coffee as an ingredient and so um so yeah it's just it it's a it's a really exciting way to take that feature article that that piece of content in the print magazine and just kind of introduce you to those people. You get to hear them. You get to see them. You get to, you know, really get to know them. So it, it's fun. That's Feast TV. Yes. At FeastSTL.com? That's correct. You got it. All right. Now let's talk a couple of restaurants for us. So I went All-American this week. There are two new places um, that I'm actually really excited about. And the first is in Baldwin, and it's called Just Bistro. And it is at 403 Lafayette Center um, at kind of the intersection of Manchester and Baxter before okay. you even ask me. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. <laughs> it's in that Deerberg's Plaza. Um, and it's a small restaurant. It is run by a, a, you know this great team of, of guys. Um, and shout out to Mike Miller, who is one of the owners. I had a chance to chat with him at length last night and really get the backstory on, on the restaurant. Um, ben Anderson is his partner in, um, in this restaurant. And the two of them wanted to create something that, um, that is serving locally sourced uh, products in a very comfortable, laid-back setting, um, but then cooking these these very kind of basic ingredients in exactly the right way. John Jonathan Olson, who a lot of people remember from um, from Market Grill and Arado, is in the kitchen as the sous chef, and I mean the food is great. Number one, if you are a French fry fan, that's hard to say. Right. Their fries are amazing. Um, it is they're properly cooked, mm-hmm. and it, so they are really crunchy on the exterior, nice, hot, and fluffy on the interior. They get a sprinkling of parmesan and salt when they come out of the fryer, mm. and they're served with their house-made steak sauce and a little bit of ketchup too. You can choose either. Um, it's it's this big serving. I couldn't finish all of it, but I I certainly tried. Um, <laughs> Another thing that I absolutely recommend on their menu is uh, is their pork chop. It's incredible. Ooh. It's fantastic. And um, and uh, it is actually from Benny's Best Meat, which is close by. It's like within a couple of miles of the restaurant. And the farmer brings the pork chops to the restaurant. Um, and it's absolutely juicy and fresh. And they cook it perfectly, which is medium rare and Whoever's listening and is nervous about medium rare pork, it, it's not the same issue that you had a couple generations ago with trichinosis, things like that. It is juicy. It is absolutely lovely. So, so this is not your grandmother's pork chop where no, you have it to. it is your grandmother's pork chop. You just don't have to worry about it. it. Actually, it tastes like a pork chop is supposed to taste. Gotcha. And so actually when I was talking to Mike, he said that his grandmother who grew up on a farm in southern Illinois, um, when she came in and tried that pork chop, she said, this is the way that I remember pork chops tasting. I haven't had a good pork chop in years. I rarely order them because they're just these big hunks of meat that aren't that compelling, usually right. to me on a menu. But I tried it, and it's great. And it's very simply served with 
with a mash of um, of potato and sweet potato and just some carrots. And, and so it's just solid, very straightforward American food. They have flatbreads and charcuterie plates, cheese plates, and they list all of their um, all of their purveyors on their menu. They're very, very proud of it. So um, Rancro Ranch actually supplies their steaks for their big steak frit that they have. Right. Um, and again, that's steak and French fries, and it's very, very approachable. They What's do the name it, of this, this this place? Just G I S T, as in. Get the gist. Right. Um, they do also. So uh, it's it's just what just just bistro. Just bistro. Just yes, right. not just. Ju- yes. Just be- bistro. Yes. At Manchester and Baxter. Yes. And just opened up. Been around a while. A month. They've been around for a month, right, and great, they serve dinner place. only, right. um, and not on not on Mondays. And it's just you know, it's just good, straightforward American food, salads, soups G- made in house. Just bistro, Manchester yes. and Baxter. Check it out today. And get. The the cheesecake. Get the cheesecake. Yes. All right. That's my that's my recommendation. Get the cheesecake. A cheesecake and pork chops sounds yes. like a perfect <laughs> sounds like a perfect breakfast. What's number two? Okay, number two, more American eats. Uh, this time we're going to Edwardsville for the new Mike Shannon's Grill. Yeah. Yep, and it's at eight seventy one South Arborvitae. Uh, Suite 101, and it's actually, if you've ever been to Peel Pizza, which is this awesome pizza place in Edwardsville, it's in that same development. Okay, yeah. Um, And this is not the same thing as Mike Shannon's downtown. This is a different menu, and they're focused on... Um, they do have some entrees, some steaks. They do um, roasted chicken and that kind of stuff, but the heart of their menu is really kind of their appetizers and, and sharing plates, but then burgers and sandwiches and i had okay on the on the sharing and appetizer side they have like truffle deviled eggs and white bean dip and um and then they have their wings are baked not fried but a lot of times with baked wings you end up with kind of a the skin doesn't crisp up and it's a little bit kind of soft which i don't like at all i like a really crispy wing and this one actually has a nice dry rub on it and then um and you can do it dry or sauced and i like it dry dry with the sauce on the side okay and um and it it has a really nice flavor to it real crispy skin and then a house made um you know just wing sauce which is nice and spicy and vinegary and really good um but then on the burger side i got the tv dinner burger of course Right, which is a um, it's nothing their- says Americana like a TV dinner <laughs> burger know. from Mike Shannon's. I know. So they have a house blend um, beef patty that they serve open face on Texas toast, topped with melted Swiss and then a whiskey mushroom gravy and mashed potatoes, and it's great. It's really- <laughs> Andrew just went oh. <laughs> really good stuff. Um, and then on the sandwiches side, you know, they have a bunch of different things you can pick, but I really enjoyed their their take on the bon mi, which is uh, Vietnamese uh, uh, sandwich. And for they've so got- Mike Shannon's is offering a Vietnamese sandwich. Yeah, which I mean, when you it's actually it's on a, a French kind of roll with a little bit of pate, um, cold poached chicken, and then um, like a daikon. Uh, radish salad and and some kind of like nice it, it's it's actually it's very very good i enjoyed it and um and the uh, they have a great cocktail list of and course they do it's mike shannon's exactly right. but the uh, they have their they have classics like a sazerac but then they also have their own kind of house made concoctions and the atmosphere is terrific it's split into a large bar area um, which clearly it has like TVs and stuff like that. But then the dining room still is very casual, has kind of TVs up around and then tons and tons of um, of sports memorabilia and baseballs. And yeah, it's yeah. really, it's great. I uh, really had a good time. What's the name of it? Mike Shannon's Grill. Mike Shannon's Grill. Yes. First of all, I love Edwardsville. Yes, I, I love too. downtown Edwardsville and you can't go wrong with Mike Shannon's in mm-hmm. Edwardsville. Good. No, and honestly, for people that haven't made the trek to Edwardsville, if you're downtown, it's only about 35 minutes. It's not... Far. And it is such a nice town. It's a great town, and they they're just scoring with some of the restaurants that are over there. A uh, craft chop house has amazing steaks, and then um, Cleveland Heath is a, a fantastic chef driven restaurant that serves you know just I mean I'm I mean if I was living on the other side of the river I'd pick Edwardsville. It's great. Mike Shannon's Grill in Edwardsville, and also Just Beefstro, Manchester and Baxter. FeastSTL.com is where you get Feast TV. Newsstands everywhere yes. to get the latest edition of the April. Yes, and edition. I'll bring it to you next week. I'm sorry I neglected to bring it. Have a good week. Thank you. You got it. Uh, 8.50. We'll talk to Team Charles next on K2.